right. Good morning, Hello. good afternoon, and good evening to all our viewers, wherever you are in the world. This is Uttarun Chaudhary from hashtag go viral to stop the virus. And with me, we have <clears throat> Kedaram Vishwanathan. Mr. Kedaram Vishwanathan is the deputy director of uh, graphics department in IGNU. He's an excellent graphic artist. He's an amazing animator. And right now, during the pandemic, he's shown us his excellent drawing skills, his excellent art skills, where he's created amazing, mind-blowing pieces of art where he depicts mythology and the Indian psyche, where he depicts mythological beings fighting the virus and finally overcoming an adversary which no one else can overcome. So we welcome Mr. Vishwanathan. Hi, Mr. Vishwanathan. How are you doing? Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Yes. Mr. <laughs> Hi. So, Mr. Uh, Vishwanathan, I'd like to ask you a little about your childhood. Like you were born in a village called uh, Kumbhakanam in the Tanjavu district uh, in Tamil Nadu, right? So, if you could yes. tell us a little yes. about your childhood and uh, and and how it was yes. and how yes. it shaped you, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm from the Kumbhagonam, uh, so my native place, Kumbhagonam, South District, from Tamil Nadu. So uh, it's an, uh, I'm studied in the schools from the Dharasuram, uh, that the uh, Chola periods, that which is uh, talking about uh, uh, near Kumbhagonam, Tanjavur, and Patiswaram. These are the small town uh, okay. in uh, Tanjavur District. Yeah. Okay. Tanjavur District. All right. And uh, you were born in a family of artists, right? Yeah, I'm for, from my family, all artists. My father, mother is artist, and my brother and younger brother are also artists. My elder brother uh, teaches a lot and uh, about my drawings, paintings, how to draw everything. And uh, then I, I did a course in from Kumbhagonam and College of Arts Crafts. I uh, influenced it from my brother. He, uh, he teaches a lot of the drawings, how to draw everything. Then I uh, joined the College of Arts Crafts in Kumbhagonam. Then I slowly I migrated to uh, and when I uh, when I Kumbhagonam, I learned uh, a lot of drawings and paintings through a temple, which is Chola period, and inspired by the wall murals and the sculptures from Dharasuram temples. Yeah, Kumbhakanam is the temple city, right? There are uh, many yes, temples. Yes, which almost uh, almost 17, 18 temples is there. A lot of Shiva temple, Vishnu temple is there. And uh, were typical uh, Chola period temples there, Ashwa temples. Uh, almost six, seven temples is a very famous temple. In, uh, in the UNICEF, uh, uh, archaeology department is certified, certified that temples. Very highly maintained and very good sculptures there. And, uh, and uh, wall murals is there. We can see it there. So, was your first uh, exposure to mythology and epics, the Indian epics and mythology and mythological paintings? They were in in those temples, right? Uh, when I was in the school time, then I was studying uh, in this uh, the temple. Uh, whatever the, the the home, we can't read so much. And we were all the students of my classmates. Everybody is going to the temple. We just reading all the, for exam, tenth exam, ninth exam. Those times we, uh, we are watching on the wall and we are watching in the term um, Gobram and we inspired a lot of a dedication drawings, wall murals and paintings. So that's inspired me to want to draw some sketches and drawing while doing and uh, studying and uh, I did small, slowly the, the sketches everything. Okay. That's why it's inspired so, from... Uh, uh, the, the mythology, I, it, is, it is so yeah. inspiring to know that uh, children in your village would actually go to the temples to study and yeah uh, that's a uh, uh, no place in the home they can't read uh, in the, the small area and we can't uh, spare time and uh, here there is a pin silence that uh, temple is huge program is there each student each pillar uh, each pillar they're sitting there they're reading and uh, once uh, once my uh, power I tell them my my is correct or wrong. So they with, uh, with closing with the books and we can say this one. So this kind of things we can do when there's a uh, uh, the school time. And uh, the, every whenever we are playing with the school itself, we're spending a lot of time in the temple itself. So we near the about temple, 
Right. Yeah. And in on the temple walls, there were very intricate, uh, detailed sculptures, and there were also wall murals of Indian mythology, which the children yes. would see and the children would absorb. And so that is what you've done as well, right? When you were a child, you've seen those beautiful this is, this is murals. I did. Yeah. Absolutely. What I uh, I learned from the temples and uh, all the sculptures and the gobra and the mandapa and the pillars. This all inspired me and uh, uh, it has gone to my things. Whenever I'm drawing, I always draw the sketches, the traditional drawing, uh, murals, uh, it's very typical uh, Chola and Pallava operates. Okay, so I mean, I just wanted to know that, say, this is how an Indian child, since his or her birth, uh, a child is influenced by mythology in many different ways. Like in India, there are these two very popular epics called Ramayana and Mahabharatam, where the characters are depicted and, you know, there are various different stories in, and stories within stories in, in these epics. And, and these stories are usually told to the children and the children memorize them. And, and then at times, even when the names of Indian children are, are usually decided by the parents, at times they decide the names... Uh, based on characters of mythology, like say, uh, Narayan. So a lot of Indian children are named yeah. Narayan, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, that's good. Which, which, which my name comes, my parents went to the Kasi Varnasi and uh, okay. uh, this thing. Uh, then they, they, made, they made the Kasi Vishwanath my name. My brother went to Shangaran, Shangaran, my elder brother. If uh, right. my father went to Kedarnath, and after that, uh, my parents are born. So this name comes like that. And wherever they goes, they're devoting that uh, temple. They put the name like that. So my name also right. is just like that from uh, yeah. parents. Kedaram Kedaram is Varna, Varna. Varna. Right. Kedaram yeah. is the name of, yeah. of Shiva, right? Yeah. Kedaram. Kedaram. Yes. Right. So, so as you can see that, uh, you know, Indians are steeped in mythology, right? From, from the birth to to uh, their passage to afterlife. Indians are, you know, they literally live in the world of mythology. And if you were in any Indian town or in Indian city or in any Indian city, you would see that these gods and goddesses, they are real, they exist and they exist amongst us. You can see statues everywhere. You can see their temples everywhere. And you can see that people, they believe in them and they, and, and they lead their lives according to their beliefs. So I was thrilled to see you using uh, mythology in your art and how you've depicted mythology. But before we go there, I would ask you, can you talk a, talk a little about your journey to IGNU and how you came in touch with uh, Mr. N uh, Sri Narendra Modi, our, our, our prime minister? Yeah, just uh, uh, where, um, uh, after that, uh, when I came to Chennai, then I did an uh, animation course, animation clips and everything. Then I got the job in Indira Gandhi National Institute as a designer, graphic designer. Then I became a deputy director right now. So that I prepared all the set designs and the event management for the scenic designs, uh, uh, all, all channels. Whatever channel comes in news channel, almost 30 40, uh, 30, 40 channel is there. 30, 40 channel is there. We prepared uh, uh, news channels and they right. like my uh, design mm -hmm. and planning. And uh, immediately that uh, uh, information broadcasting ministry, uh, we're going to prepare for the uh, monkey bath uh, backdrop and uh, okay. multi multimedia studio for the Abdul Kalam. So they asked me and I prepared the designing for them and the whole studio. Now, right now I'm making a set design to event management and animation and graphics. This is my regular work last 30 years I'm working in the IGNO. It's parallelly that the other government, other uh, channel people lost my designing work. I prepared in parallelly this work. This is my okay. another uh, part of the work. Okay, and you also uh, I, 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 you for Dr. Abdul Kalam, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he uh, want the multi he want the multimedia studio, uh, which uh, in uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan. So without uh, with disturbing the infrastructure of uh, uh, studio area. So I prepared such a way is a modular system multimedia studio, the backdrop okay. designing, and uh, I created the uh, library. It's not library actually. We created the painting sets. 
we created okay. painting library i have seen that uh, which uh, abdul kalam is giving uh, a speech of uh, august 15th uh, 26 january this uh, just we created the backdrop it's not uh, at all uh, the books it's not library we created okay. illusion of uh, this thing is all i prepared for them and all the news channels uh, did in the doordarshan and uh, this kind of channels uh, uh, star plus and the bbc star, star and i uh, tag and india tv this uh, all the channels that wanted to uh, uh, set designs so i am preparing for set design for them wonderful so that is great to know and uh, so i would uh, again come back to you know the, the topic of asking you that see you were uh, you know a, a, a person who who was into graphic designing you were uh, you're an excellent animator so when uh, the the pandemic began you took to art again you came back to art and you started painting and you used mythology thoroughly to depict astoundingly detailed pictures of mythological characters fighting uh, the unseen enemy or the virus so i would like to ask you that why do you think why did you actually use mythology and why did you use mythology in art to depict uh, your paintings uh basic things uh, which is like the lockdown which is uh, declared the 24th march they declared the uh, hardal that immediately i, I thought about it uh, first seven days we are casually we are were there and after this slowly then the days and uh, i saw the entire world is affecting that the corona virus then within the, the, the during the lockdown time i i wanted to start something which we know that some drawings and everything so far we didn't do last 30 years we didn't do any work and as a drawing and anything only focusing from all the office work regular work to we'll draw okay. some drawing paintings so i even started it slowly then first people the few days i started then i'm dedicated deeply i started why don't uh, mythology type format we can go what we learned from the childhood why don't we create right now then I slowly i started and uh, and now it's come to in pipeline i am focusing on every drawing there's a god only can solve this problem then i slowly right. i focus such a way i started this way last that okay. do lockdown i did almost 30 party drawing it prepared this this one way this the way i started okay so when the lockdown happened you were you were back at home and so you decided to take up your uh, drawing equipment and you started and you also thought that see uh, right now as uh, the pandemic as it's happening and 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 the virus is invisible and no one knows uh, how to how to stop the virus so you thought that it is it is the almighty or it is it is only it is the god who can or, or the gods that we worship in india the gods mm. have the key to the problem they can solve the problem they can uh, you know through they can inspire us to 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 actually explore the problem and and through uh, the blessings of the gods and science we can actually you know find a proper solution find a vaccine and so that is why you started to inspire people and to give people hope you started <clears throat> painting with mythology is that correct Yeah, we we have hope. We hope that it may it be maybe it will be helpful for the Indians. Only we can whatever problem comes beyond our level. Only we can come to the temple and praying everything. So the invisible things only we can doing. We don't do it, and the uh, virus also goes through invisible things. That way right. we can pray and we can think. We already we we given the shape on God, and another invisible shape is there. we don't uh, so merge together and let the uh, solve the problems that i right. wanted such a beautiful thing that you just said that the virus is invisible and so are the gods and so mm. you know both are almost celestial so you know why don't you you know so so you got them together the invisible yeah. virus and the invisible divine forces and you showed yeah. that they are in a constant fight and they are in a battle and through the battle the gallantry of the gods the the valor of the gods and the power of the various different mythological characters have been has been expressed and uh, through these paintings you've also inspired a lot of people 
and you've made them feel that you've made them feel that there is a higher power at work. Scientists are working, uh, common people are, are working, politicians are working, but also the deep Indian belief of gods and goddesses. They are they are also in this with us, and they're they're, they're also you know fighting the virus. So I really appreciate your line of thinking because see, I personally feel that. You know, like that is our philosophy behind the hashtag go viral, stop the virus, that you know, a virus can't be, you know, if we always tell people that, you know, be scared of the virus, you know, be aware of the virus, this virus is going to kill you. Well, it, it to some extent kills a man internally. So we'll have to spread awareness in a different way. So I always profess that, you know, the safety issues and safety rules are something that everyone has to know. But why, you know, the virus can also be shown in a very interesting, different, positive light through art, through music, through poetry, through sculpture. And what you've done is so interesting that unlike anything else where, you know, people show the virus as a demon and the doctors are fighting it and, you know, people show it as a, as a, as a, as a deadly weapon and people are running away. What you've done is you've completely turned it around and you've used gods and goddesses who are actually battling an, an invisible force so so i really appreciate that and i feel that it is it is uh, it's a great thing that that you've done um, god only protect us god only protect us uh, what what we can do we can pray and everything our light is a hope god right. only protect and our light is a, let's see that uh, everything in positive manner and uh, we can bring such a way that's why we started the drawings is a never ending process centuries of centuries and centuries people keep on praying one after one and another generation to generation praying and the god believes that we don't do that uh, that that way we can go for it let that uh, start out this problem and no corona free india we don't make it corona free india that's why baba want to bring it wonderful so right now what we'll do mr kedaram is we'll we'll take four of your paintings, four paintings which we've discussed, and, and then we'll take them one at a time, and we'll talk about yeah. these paintings a little bit, okay? So yeah. let me share. Okay. Let me share the screen for you. Okay. So here's the first painting that uh, we'll talk about. It, it has this beautiful depiction of uh, the Narasimha, or the, or the god who's half man, half a lion and they say make the narasimha go viral make uh, the narasimha popular and what we are seeing here is we're seeing uh, this very detailed painting that you've done i'll quickly take the readers and then the viewers into the amount of detail that is going behind this see see how how uh, kedaram has actually done uh, the various details of the nails and and and, and the jewelry and the teeth Right, it is fascinating yes. the, the amount of detail that there is. So, so let me uh, ask you, why have you depicted the, the Narasimha here? Because usually, uh, you know, in other paintings of Narasimha, we see that the Narasimha is actually killing a Hiranya Kashipu, who's who's who's, who's actually who stands for the evil. Right. So, could you please uh, talk about this a little? Uh, only that uh, the Narasimha only can uh, because they destroy the evil. Only right. they destroy the evil. Uh, no other thing can can't do that one. We try to still we never get the medicine for that one. And right now is the situation is there. Only the God only we have to believe. Narasimha is a powerful God, and uh, if you are praying such a way to God, He can solve the, our problem. So such a right. way I prepared Corona. And invisible evil. We don't do, uh, give the job to him and Narasimha. Narasimha will do it. Uh, remaining, you can remove the, all the uh, problems. So that's why. Have... Right. So you've seen depictions of Narasimha in various, in in, in different uh, temples and in in murals, right? Where uh, Narasimha is is fighting Hiranya Kashipu, and Hiranya Kashipu had is a demon who had a a boon. Yeah, that's so He can't be yeah. killed. Uh, by a man yes. or a beast, he can't be killed inside or outside. And so, uh, the the god Vishnu decided to take uh, the shape of neither a man nor a beast, so that uh, this this uh, this problem can be solved. Uh, did 
that act as an inspiration as well. Yeah, that's so that's but that's when we can let them finish the yeah. evil things. The uh, he, right now he, the evil is our corona right now. We don't uh, right. Uh, finish right now. That's we that we thought about that. Thing. Okay. So uh, so can you talk a little about Narasimha itself? Like it is a half lion and half man, and you've uh, you've painted the nails in great detail. You've also painted uh, the, the teeth in great detail, and uh, it has about four arms on on both sides. Like totally, there are about ten arms, and 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 the Narasimha is holding various different weapons. So can you tell us a little about the weapons uh, Narasimha is holding? Yeah, the weapons. Uh, uh, each weapons is it will be depending one one things, and the gada is making and uh, holding and hitting that kind of things, and uh, arrow will be again it will be poker uh, these things, the, and the knife is hitting that like that, and uh, all the hand is a nail, big nail is killing and removing such a way we prepared that, and okay. uh, this kind of pictures. Uh, If familiar to known people, know thing, known things. These drawings, right. the same drawing created such a way. They can identification will be there, and the people can understand the, uh, why this anima narsimas or doing this one uh, instead of making that uh, other uh, two evil. That is a uh, corona is a, it make it. That snake also I get wrapping under the top of that uh, corona. That. Right, so it is uh, very. It's a very interesting thing that you said that because people, Indian people in India, they know about the myth of the Narasimha, and so if you use that myth, it'll also be easier for people to understand. To understand, yeah. Right. That's the main issue that I don't. I don't want to disturb such a item. I can change the weapons to different format, uh, and it'll go another format of the drawing. So I don't right. want to disturb such a way. And the, what the mural says uh, in the war, in the temple, the ancient temple, what mural drawing, what the uh, uh, years together that uh, sculptures drawings. So similar a uh, replica that drawings I can convert it such a way, uh, killing that uh, Purana that I want to do it. Some of things I'm adding additional things because the snakes is uh, roaming, uh, roaming together and killing right. together along with uh, uh, Narasimha. And you also have drawn fire around uh, around Narasimha, right? The yeah, it will enhance things. another level. Yeah, enhance to uh, instead of not only killing it is enough, and fire and uh, one one small small dot is there. That also Corona is there. It will kill that through fire. Okay, If so that back that fire is there. Small small Corona is invisible. Corona is visibility is there. So the mm -hmm. fire itself is killing that source uh, those things. So now it's about that the fire is fire it killing yeah okay yeah. so so it is being killed by the god as well as by the fire and the fire is also a divine being in india like we have the agni dev right agni dev yeah yes so fire is also there's also a god of fire uh, an indian god of fire who's who's also working together with the the, the god narasimha and so i would I would stand back amazed looking at this picture because there is so much violence in it, uh, you know, so much ferocity in it, and so much aggression in it. And the best part is uh, you've used such an Im image, such a ferocious, such an aggressive image, to actually depict, you know, a very positive message to to actually depict hope, that to depict, uh, you know, a, a very Uh, a calm, a calming message to the people of India that uh, you know, as everyone in India is trying to fight the pandemic, so is, so is uh, the spears god Narasimha, and so it is uh, through his roar, through his, through his power, through his aggression, he is actually fighting an adversity. So that is uh, an incredible thing that you've done, and I felt that you know what you've done is you've translated the the virus here as an object. As as a celestial object, whom the gods are fighting, and uh, you know, so I'll give an example of adversity when it comes to gods. Usually, one an opponent has to be worthy to be fought with a to, to be to be fought against a god, right? For for the gods to fight it, and so say even Ravana had to be worthy of Rama for for Rama to fight it. So here you've actually shown that how difficult, how strong, and how passionately. we must fight the pandemic 
and how uh, selflessly we must contribute ourselves to this fight so that uh, you know we'll win in the end you know i'm, I'm amazed by the level of uh, your dedication to this form of art and and to to the message that you convey so with your permission uh, by mr vitspanathan i'll move to the next painting yeah uh, go ahead okay here is the next one it says yeah. may ravana go viral and so it yeah. is, we yeah. see the picture of ravana it has uh, you know ravana as a man or a demon who who has say 10 heads and 20 arms and he's uh, he's sitting kneeled on uh the, these depictions of uh, viruses and 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 the viruses are all in chains so could you could you tell us a little about this image please yeah this uh, corona uh, yeah. that ravana himself he is a very powerful man and he is right. like knowledgeable and very scholar and highly uh, uh, divine uh, uh, in south that ravana is a very powerful god and uh, papa right. the, mm-hmm. so that uh, the ramana you can maybe it will solve the our problems first of all that i prepared such a way and so right. much uh, mm-hmm. uh, that corona is around that one he manipulated such a put the uh, chain and uh, around us uh, controlling such a uh, corona is uh, all the way each head is makes uh, is a uh, typical one one uh, topic that uh, sanskrit is knows and uh, all the uh, very powerful scholar that uh, the ravana so uh, each mm-hmm. uh, uh, can represent to one one more things and here everything come together and in top i make 20 hands i made only two hands control with the chain control right. with everything together that's why i prepared that one so around a lot of uh, uh, things here is a uh, again is the fire is comes uh, things fire also along with uh, uh that uh, corona is killing mm-hmm. the fire this is yeah. right so it is great to know that say ravana who is uh, usually uh, in in epics is depicted as the as the adversary to rama the, the god uh, in the southern part of india he, ravana is is uh, is worshiped at certain places and and, and yeah, that is that he's a, he's a he's a person of great intelligence and knowledge is that correct yeah that's true right and so uh, ravana is a great scholar of the vedas and he also uh, knows how to play the veena and uh, yeah. ravana was the god of uh, the house of gods in vaikuntha before he was ravana he was he was he was one of the gods ravana and kumbhakarna the two brothers yeah. in in mythology were were the gods of the house of gods and they were yeah. first to be born in uh, on earth as as demons and and uh, so so the entire journey of ramayana begins is that correct so so i i feel that uh, in this uh, painting what you've done is you've shown ravana as 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 the god again where he is god yeah, <laughs> one right. one part of the area is uh, we are praying praying with uh, ravana other part of things uh, the rama is uh, praying things why don't we can visualize such a way and uh, ravana let the we can uh, every time in the deepavali time we can pay fire to ravana here in right. delhi and other part of the things so uh, again uh, sri lanka and uh, that those area they, they have to pay praying as a god so we can take it one part of things and let the uh, Even there, that uh, uh, we have to show that uh, Corona is supposed to be uh, uh, we have to uh, demolish that. That we were more towards there. Right. So that is such a beautiful thing that you've taken a character which has uh, you know a dual meaning, like two different perspectives, and you've taken uh, the dual uh, symbol of Ravana, and you've you've used uh, Ravana to actually fight uh, you know this problem that we're facing and. i had a feeling that uh, this is this all this painting also has a deeper message that say every human being has two sides every person has has a, you know has has uh, in fact many sides so we have to be in touch with all our sides our creative side our logical side our scientific side and our the side where we have faith and together with logic science faith and belief we can 
we can actually be aware and fight the pandemic. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm, again, I should tell you that this image is has a lot of detailing as well. We can see the the eyes in great detail. I'll quickly take you to uh, the image here, and I'll show you how detailed it is. See the detailing of the face, the detailing of the eyes, uh, the jewelry, and uh, you know, I've also seen that even in, in this flower motifs here, you've also used the shape of the virus. I mean, then the, yeah. the teeth and uh, you know the detailed uh, fire. I mean, it is it is a, and, and and also the shackles. It's amazing the amount of detail that there is in this painting, and and it is it's fascinating. So, with your permission, uh, I'll move to the next image. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the next image, which says make ironer go viral. All right, yeah. and uh, yeah. we have this image of uh, Ayanar, the, the god, and we have uh, him dancing, literally dancing, and fighting a celestial battle, like a battle which is up there in the sky. And we see that uh, you know the vahanas of the of the god, the the elephants, the tigers, and also the birds in the sky. They they're all engaged in this celestial battle. There's a lot going on. I mean, we can see. Uh, the four hands and the weapons and and the the trident uh, in the god's hands and the three heads of the god. There are also serpents, right? Snakes around. Yeah. So I'll I'll quickly take uh, our readers uh, and give them uh, our viewers and give them some details. See see and how much detail it is all uh, here. See the details of the snakes. Snakes here. Yeah, snakes and snakes. Snakes. Yes, uh, and then the birds and the elephant. So I would, uh, yeah, this is one image which is fascinating in terms of activity. There's so much happening in this image. So could you could you tell us what is going on here? Yeah, there's a similar, that's a very, a very anchor. There's a South Indian village, uh, things the village guardian. Uh, so it will go over that uh, uh, village people, they can pray for the uh, good things, uh, they can pray over and save this. Uh, any anything is, comes in the uh, disease, anything they can come enter the village, come together. They can pray and everything. They can uh, give the uh, uh, offering uh, white horse with the terracotta and white horse, uh, white elephant. They can give the uh, things, pray the protector from uh, from there. So they want it. Uh, uh, they, they can pay, they can give the white hours uh, uh, with the terabata and the elephant as well as and other fruits and everything they pay. Normally, there's uh, the INR you can save the entire village people uh, that to be created. Where whenever the problem comes, you can save the people. Uh, but whatever the, uh, that uh, disease, anything comes like a flu, uh, any uh, disease comes uh, killing things, you can save the uh, village people. So, as a okay. size, so I prefer a very approachable anchor moment along with all the ferns and while killing and the killing things and uh, all the eagles, the eating and the eagle, once the death things comes, all the eagles flying on the top of the sky and the okay. sky they can fly. Okay. So, so these are all the, it's a lot of death is happening beyond these keep on killing all the uh, coronavirus and beyond right. the, all the eagles. And eating and nothing, and parallelly, that uh, tiger and the lions uh, fighting each other, and the corona fighting is going on there, and, and the elephant also fighting. Every all wagonum supporting to INR to killing and that entire pandemic things. Wonderful. Bring us all, everyone we want to fight, it will free India, this, uh, this hope to everyone to solve the problems. Okay. Okay, so you're saying that uh, you know this god Ayanar is uh, Ayanar is a is a, is a god uh, in a, a god who's present in all the South Indian villages, right? In in the villages in the south, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. And so he he stands as a guard. He's almost like a security guard. Colorful images of the of the god carrying weapons. Yeah, security guard, security guards. Right, stands a, outside. The, uh, we can see the Kaval Devam. That's Kaval Devam, the security guard, guardian. In right. each village, they have the guardian. Who are going towards the village, they can pray before that. While going away from, from the village, they can pray that one. 
Okay. Before so entering and going out, they can pray. pray. They, before they go out of the village, they also pray to this god. So, uh, this is the garden, the, the garden of uh, of a South Indian village. And so, uh, this god has finally taken up the duty to actually, you know, fight away the the, the virus and finally uh, protect the people of the villages, right? Yeah, of course. That's the way we are. Still, that it believes that still is happening entire village. The whatever problem come, everybody gathering together and praying. Uh, such a big uh, festival type of things and offering a lot of things to the INR. And uh, the whatever uh, the uh, getting prayer, it will solve the problem within short and notice. That they they uh, this belief still is happening, and still we mm -hmm. are also believing that one. All right. So uh, it is. Uh... The sense of belief, the sense of uh, you know, the the deep sense of belief in gods, uh, has, has been portrayed in this painting. And I'm, uh, you know, what I can see is I can see a lot of very interesting speed lines around the arms. I mean, see the speed lines here, the speed lines around the head, and they like uh, yeah. motion lines. So <laughs> this a short sense which is the, the acrosham and the vibration and the right. feelings uh, that lines they can makes. Uh, uh, that uh, force. So this also force. shows that how strong an animator you were, because you created uh, motion through your through your paintings, right? You were an animator. So in, even in this painting, I mean, there there's yeah. such a lot of depiction of motion, like motion of the birds, motion of the weapons, motion of the elephant, and even motion of the giant, uh, you know, ball, celestial balls, which uh, represent the virus. I mean, they're also spinning. So there are motions of the spinning as well. So this is one incredible image where there's a lot happening. There, there's movement, there's yeah. dance, there's action. It's almost like a movie. And, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, once we are creating is a virtual 3D look uh, uh, animation films, it will give another uh, dimension we can get it. Very vibrant look we can get a dark sky and very light, uh, very light up with all the corona and uh, is uh, akrosham that ayana is focusing in a very vibrant way and all right. the birds playing such a nice 3d look it will give you the one minute uh, 3d animation film we can create uh, one small one segment of movements only one minute moment or of the moment we can create if you, if you want to allow that 3d movements we can create but it is still pictures maximum what are the possibility in the 2d we create right wonderful so with your permission you. uh, yeah so with your permission we move to the next one please yeah it's okay he'll go all right so in the next one uh you know here we have another god uh and then we're saying make it make garura go viral so so here's you know this half man half bird god garura yeah where he's actually captured his is captured uh, these uh, celestial stars which which are which are of course uh, which re represent the shape of the virus and he's he's captured and he's also impaled a virus with with a uh, with a sword in his hand right yeah yeah this entire uh, garuda is in the year so we can in the year we can bring all that together is in the corona is on the year uh, right. very uh, so bagna of the god vishnu so we can bring everything together and put uh, uh, making uh, killing that word that's way really. so that and on the year it is there so whatever possibilities there is a put the chain and making together one after one the killing that's a way we can create ourselves Wonderful. So there's also a very interesting dimension of depth, like the on perspective. The yeah. first virus is very big, and and back there we can see very small uh, viruses. I mean, we can we can see small depictions of viruses. So we can we know that it's in the sky, and it is, and these things are far far away. And Garuda has actually captured them all. So I would uh, ask you uh, to talk a little about Garuda or uh, Garuda as the, I mean, the half man, half bird. Uh, God, who's actually the vahana or the or the or the carrier or the vehicle of the, the God Vishnu or or God one Vishnu. of the yeah God Vishnu is one of the main gods of the Trinity in India, like Vishnu, uh, Brahma, Vishnu, and Maheshwar. 
like the god of creation, the god of stability, and the god of destruction. So, uh, in the, Vishnu is one of uh, you know he's he's one of the top three, and uh, Garuda is uh, his vehicle. Like Vishnu, when Vishnu has to go for a ride, he goes on the ride on Garuda's back. Is that is that correct? Right. Yeah, that's a Vagna uh, of God Vishnu is Dharma protector. Right. Whatever Dharma is protector. That's why we are whatever doing we can uh, the finally it comes the Dharma thing. See, that's for protect. So we such a way we can create uh, we can as much things uh, uh, the Gardas uh, what is the possibility we can we can we create such a ways help the One gods minute. to create. Uh, Virus through uh, and the, on the air and the flying one. One is the land one, the flying one, the fire one, water. Panjabudam, what we are creating. I prepared Panjabudam drawings also. This we can uh, taking as a uh, on the air. On the air, who is going to kill? Who is the flying god? Only Garuda. The Garuda right. we, we can take it. We can kill the uh, the, the, the airborne uh, virus. So we can do. Uh, if they say the airborne. And we don't do uh, Garuda. We can send the Garuda. We can kill the right. uh, entire virus. If you uh, in the land things, any uh, 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 that uh, cyclone comes, then we can send such a uh, Machavadaram, uh, Dasavadar. We can create such a we can. Anyway, we are going that uh, mythology former designing and uh, drawings. So we mm -hmm. can I can manipulate such a way. I am doing debating and uh, things as a warrior. I can I use it as a warrior. God make it as a warrior to sort out this uh, pandemic things. Wonderful. So there are various gods, like gods who who travel on land, gods who are on water, and so yeah. uh, you know, the virus which is on land is being caught by uh, one god. I mean, the, the god who's who's on land. The, the virus, the waterborne virus, is being fought by uh, gods who are on water. So. When this virus is airborne, the best person to fight it, the best god to fight it, would be Garuda, because Garuda has wings. Garuda. Yeah, he can he can fly. So right now he's he's flying and he's 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 fighting this virus. So this is also a depiction of uh, strategy, a depiction of strength, and uh, definitely a depiction of hope, where people can actually look up to the sky and see a celestial battle happening. This is so fascinating. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thrilled to look at these images. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Next level of the painting, I am making humanity level that uh, Danmandri God, I can prepare Danmandri God. We right. make it healthy food for the uh, things. So I'm making those kind of drawings right nowadays. The Danmandri okay. God, that's okay. Let the take it a uh, humanity level food and uh, uh, pepper, uh, ginger, this, those things. It will give the this is it give my impact. Okay, so in the next level, when you're when when you're going to the next level of uh, your your art, you're actually uh, using the gods of medicines, and and you're using people who are coming to, gods who are coming together with various different medicinal plants, and and they're they're fighting the virus like that. That is what you're you're going to do after this. Yes, that's that's we are valid. And uh, so I'm fascinated to even feel how how strongly Indian, uh, you know, like how how strongly Indian, how strongly mythological, and how epic these images are, and and this gives us a very different perspective on how uh, you know a people of a of, of a nation would look at uh, the pandemic and how they would want to fight it, and so this is this is seriously amazing, and so. Uh, lastly, I would ask you uh, one last question where, uh, you know, I, I'd want to say that, see, Go Viral to Stop the Virus is an initiative that we've begun where uh, we are asking artists, uh, poets, sculptors, musicians from all over the world to come together and to, you know, to, to create positive art, positive poetry, positive sculptures and positive music against the coronavirus to raise awareness and to to make people feel less anxious less worried and i felt that you could be a, an amazing collaborator to this initiative because of your paintings your paintings deal with hope your paintings deal with the virus very differently and so i invited you to collaborate and as you've collaborated with us today do you have any message for this initiative go viral to stop the virus do you 
Yes. Uh, we bringing the positive manner. Everybody is a positive, and everybody is follow that uh, uh, the uh, hope, uh, positive hope is supposed to be there needed in the right. people. Uh, whatever the government rules and other things, if we let's follow those, those things, we can uh, we can come up from the corona free India. The can this, this we right. might cut out. Right, wonderful. Yes, we have to follow the the safety rules, and we'll have to be. Hopeful, and that is how we can actually come hopeful, out. Hopeful, yeah, that's first hopeful. Yes. We want it. Your initiative bring hope. Right. Your initiative made it very nicely, and this also bring uh, further level of movements. I can do it. Lot of things. Your positive uh, hope. We we can make it another level of uh, movements. You made it me today. Interview today. The show which is uh, shown to our drawings and paintings. It really will make me uh, another level of uh, uh, good, uh, another positive, uh, super positive empowerment. It's, it's, make, it's making you happy. It's making you positive. The fact that we are we are coming of together course. and then thinking. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Vishwanathan. I have to say okay. that uh, you know you have uh, literally enthralled people of India by by your art. You have made them feel great. You've made them feel hopeful, and you've actually reinstated a lot of beliefs in people, and you've uh, actually, you know, opened the hearts of a lot of people to to belief, to Indianness, and to the strength of our minds and the divinity to fight the the pandemic. So I I thank you from the deepest core of my heart, um, Mr. Vishwanathan, for your art, and thank you so much for this interview. And so thank you so much. Thank you. So with this note today, we will end our conversation, and yeah, and I wish you all the best, and I wish uh, you, you know, and 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 I, I really wish that uh, your journey continues because you you you're still continuing to draw these uh, and paint these amazing um, art, and and right now you have more than thirty to forty different uh, paintings, right? There's one right behind you, I can see, and so yeah, that's are, true. <laughs> right, and it's large and it's beautiful, and so. I, I implore you that don't stop. Keep on creating these things and keep on inspiring us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a wonderful day. Bye.